Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the Pure Rock 2FX from BQuad versus the JF100 from Joyshark. Make sure you continue to watch. If you guys are looking for a VPN service, then seriously, you need to check out Connect VPN because with 30 day money back guarantee, with 50 plus servers across 30 plus countries, and zero contracts. Also, if you use my code WELSHY30, you will also get a 30% discount off a checkout. Make sure you go to the link in the description and check out Connect VPN. And I'd like to thank them for sponsoring the video. The thermals now I run both exact tests for exact for both air coolers and we will start with the be quiet pool rock now the CPU was using the 5900x and it was unlocked with XMP enabled and it did re reach 175 watts so Cinebench R23 the idles were 36 Celsius the max was a 90 Oof. Blender Classroom, the idle to 37, the max was a 90, again, oof. Blender BMW, the idle to 37, the max was a 90, oof. And 3D Mark CP test, the idles were 37 and the max was a 77 Celsius. Now for the Joyshark JF100, exactly the same testing, 10 minute runs for Cinebench Blenders and of course one run with 3D Mark. So. Cinebench R23, the idles were 37 Celsius, the max hit a 90, oof. Blender Classroom, the idles were 37 Celsius, the max was an 89, oof. Now, Blender BMW, the idles started creeping up, 38 Celsius, and the max was an 88, oof. And 3D Mark CP test, the idles again, 38 Celsius, and the max was a 75 Celsius. Let's get into the rest of the video. Okay, and so the Joyshark JF101, but by one to three degrees. Now, considering that Joyshark has actually rated the TDP for this cooler 230 watts, which it states right on the box. Let's have a look. I don't know if you can see that, but by there. By there. 230 watts with, and it was tested on 11900k from intel now i'm sorry but if the intel one which does certainly draw a lot more wattage and it certainly produces a lot more heat if this could cool that then how couldn't it cool the 5900x which is a lot lower when it, in terms of tdp and thermal output i don't actually know but, of course, with both air coolers, could you get better performance with a better, maybe better thermal paste, something from like Thermal Grizzly. Thermalite do do really nice, good quality thermal paste as well. So could you save a few degrees? You could. Uh, I, so I haven't tried liquid metal. I mean, you could, but I'd be careful. There are risks with that. <coughs> And of course, you know, there's risks with liquid metal and of course, you're not really going to see much of a difference unless it's really direct dye. So 
you may see one to two degrees, but it's not going to really make a much huge difference, especially on AM4 when the IHS and the CPU are soldered. So it's not really going to make much of a difference. So yeah, be quite lost, but not by much. One to two, uh, one to three degrees, which is quite embarrassing for Joy Shark because this one is actually rated at a lower TDP. So yeah, and sorry for the change in outfit. It's because the this part of the video i shot yesterday wasn't up to my standards my my phone kept auto focusing in and out so i was blurred thanks phone thank you samsung but still i wanted to make sure at least you guys can see me so i redid it now i would like to thank today's video sponsor connect vpn the link for that will be in the description don't forget to check them out because they have done me the privilege of giving me a 30% discount for my viewers. Yes, use Welshy30 at checkout down below and you get 30% off straight away by using my code. So that's Connect VPN. The link for that will be in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Good Bye.